Okay, we're back with the final assembly of this 1950 Tonka Ford truck. Very rare truck. I don't know why I told and said that a bunch of times, but it is one of my favorite trucks to restore. Today we're going to do the, the bed. There's the old bed that has the chains on it. The first video I showed you, now we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to install them. The little chains and everything but this particular model that's what makes it so rare they had this little wire here it goes right here so you could the only purpose is to for your tailgate it goes right in that little slotted area everything slotted and it just no brainer just well, drop it in there and you'll see the, the line holes, you see them on top here, that's where your rivets are going to go. But you could use this, these rivets if you want. But if you, I recommend if you're going to customize it that you use these or if it, it's not, if it's just a custom way, you could use regular rivets too. I don't see a problem with it unless you really want to use them. But. I try to just get it all squared up. Make sure that it's gonna line up on there right for the tailgate and everything. Right? You might have to stretch it a little bit. It's just sheet metal, so you get it. They're old. I find them all rusty, and I try to do the best I can. So what we want to do here is get this guy in there. So you could even take it out. This is the way you do it. Actually, get it like that. Put it in there like that. What are you guys doing? I slide this in there and it should fall right in place. Yep, there it is. See? Then your rivets go over the ladder slots. Stop. Pause it. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're gonna today. We're gonna put the fenders and finish off the truck. And these fenders, they go just like that. And they only go one way, so you can't put it the other way. Cause yeah, I don't know really. I don't think you can, but that's not the way they go. They only go one way. And you just same thing. It's all slotted. You just find your slot. Take your time. You don't want to scratch the truck up. And then you find the slot. Tilt it up if you need to. And it'll clip right on there. Same thing with this side. Find the slot, tilt it down a little bit. And there you go. Let me get this other side. Find the slot it. Should just pop right in place. Bada boom, bada bang. There you go. And the same thing here, you get your tabs. Open your tailgate. Use your tabs as far as you can. And then I'll use some t uh, masking tape here in a minute to, to uh, She is almost done. All I gotta do is put the rivets and the chains, and we're good to go. And the chains are pretty easy. We gotta touch it up a little bit. Yes, this is we're back with that 58 restoration. This is the 58 that I restored. Uh, it's almost completely done. I still put the chains on it and got them right here. They're gonna go on the back here. Pretty simple. You just Get them and just little change you can buy on it from uh, on eBay. And you just hook them right here, one side over here, 
question actually was on a Get it right there. Get it. Cinch it down. And then we're ready for action. Bang. There it is. Sweet. And they just just do the same thing on the other side. patience it's all a lot of people it is kind of tedious work though it's, it's patience let's get it on there let's cinch it and you're ready to go 1950 classic Ford very rare truck, beautiful truck. Like, you know what, 20 seconds, speed is north what? Video taping. 20. Let me just get it on there. Be on the, oops. Take it off. It's like it would be on a real truck back in that time period. Very rare truck. Cool truck. I get the idea. There it is. I just gotta rivet it on and we're good to go. And the rivets I use are gonna be, I painted them so they're not quite ready. So I'll have that here in a minute. So just stay tuned if you wanna see that video. Thank you. Yes, these are the Tonkas that I usually get. I find them on eBay mostly or the art show or the flea market, but this is a 58 see how it has the the lines it has a four and the sheet metal four lines on the sheet metal this is a this is a same truck that, uh, that this is except this is a this is a 1960 this was a camper special but it's the same truck it just has the three lines same grill almost but this way the they would I get them and I make them into that. And this is another the frame where I use to usually have to cut some of the metal and customize it to make it work. But I assure you, they're really Tonka tough. And that is one of my Tonkas that I restored. Very proud of them. So hope you like my videos. And I got. More coming along, so. And mention that's the stock right height. That's the stock height of the original, and that's my lowered truck. See the difference? 